Well, good morning. I am up and about. It's only, it's 6 a.m. I wanted to get out a little bit earlier, but I woke up at 4.30, hit the snooze button, and I was so slow this morning. But you know what? It felt kind of nice to be slow like that. Uh, if you saw in the last video, I caught up with somewhere at the campground, no campground, camp big spot, and she's still back there. She's also just taking her time because <clears throat> We only have 76 miles to uh, Shasta and we've kind of got like three and a half days to do it. Um, <clears throat> uh, she did her longest day, 34 and a half miles or something like that, uh, yesterday or the day before, I think the day before. So she tired. That's pretty amazing. That's some high mileage right there. Anywho, I don't even know how far I'm going to go today. I'm gonna try at least 25 because uh, that's kind of like what I aimed for today. I did more miles yesterday than I had originally planned. So that gives me a little bit of leeway. I'm not sure if we've got a lot of views today, but I have an eight mile uphill now. But honestly, it doesn't look too shabby. I think it's like a, a 1400 foot Incline over eight miles. That shouldn't be bad at all. So something that I have had not to endure on the PCT since I've hiked until this morning is something called silk blazing. Silk blazing is when you are the first one on trail and you run into all the spider webs. Uh, uh, I'm silk blazing right now. There's spider webs, which I don't know why I didn't think that the PCT would have the same thing. And also the woods are more similar to the AT right now. But yeah, I'm silk blazing. Well, that's just cute. Are there notes in there? I think there are notes in there. Let me have a look. <laughs> the mosquitoes and gnats. Hold on, let me take this out. Probably hear me better this way. So there's a note in here that says, there is a place in you where nothing is impossible. There's a place in you where strength abides. That's a really sweet note. Thank you to whoever put that. I mean, I know it's not really leave no trace, but it's those little things that really make a difference. Just sitting here. I've done 10 miles before 10. Looking at a view. So there's a lot of gnats and flies and mosquitoes. I mean, today is just, it's like, what will the day bring us today? Yesterday, it was 108 degrees. Today, it is mosquito country or gnats. I think it's more like those like black, tiny things that just wanna like fly inside of your nose and ears for no apparent reason, because that is imminent death. I don't understand, uh, but the temperature is so lovely. Um, when I was in Bernie yesterday, I looked at the temperature for the next few days and it was like in the hundreds and that's because it's Bernie, right? So, but I assumed it would be similar on trail. Yeah, we went up the mountain just now, but it's like 86 degrees right now and it's like 10 o'clock. It's warm, yeah, but it's not like 
I think last time when we were hiking around this time, it was already in the 90s. So, I mean, I'm sure it'll still get hotter, but it just feels kind of nice. It's 11, 18 a.m. and I've done 14 miles. There is a little spring coming up in point one and I'm contemplating eating already. It would be nice to kind of like get a lot of miles done before 12. That's kind of one of those like hiker things, like how many miles can you get in before 12? But um, I don't know. I'll have to look at what my water situation is gonna be like for the next 10 miles. And I guess maybe I'll base my decision on whether to take a break right now on that. That's the trail. But I have to go this way for the water. Here's the water source. Mm -mm -mm. Delish. Within the clouds. We are at 95 degrees at 195 degrees at 145 p.m. There is some shade though. And about I'm about 0.4 from a supposed water source. I still have enough to make it to the water source even after that if this one is a not reliable water source. It is 2.30 and I have done 20 miles. So, and of course it's windy, so the sound is just amazing for you guys. Okay, anyway. Every day has an obstacle, and as I said, today was mos mosquitoes and ants, but not only that, as you've seen already, it is overgrown trail obstacle today. I think, I mean, the constant scraping of legs on bushes is so annoying. Tomorrow, I'll be wearing my long pants, and watch it, there'll be no overgrowth. But for, I mean, like, I could just get my pants out now, but I'm just lazy. I'm gonna just admit it right here. I'm just lazy. Uh, so, to give you some insight on how I like to hike with regard to miles and how my mind relaxes after a while. So the first 10 miles is like a must. It almost seems like in the morning, the first 10 miles, like you never can reach it. It's like, takes forever to get to 10 miles, right? Then once you may reach 10 miles, you're like, okay, cool. I reached 10 miles, that's pretty nice. Then the next goal is 20 miles and that's where I'm at right now. Once I hit 20 miles, I completely relax. Anything above 20 miles is in a way extra. Now, I know I really need to do 25 today, but once I reach 20 miles, I don't know what it is, I just get really relaxed. I just start walking like a normal person and then the miles just keep piling. So that's where I'm at right now. It's 2.30 and I already have 20 miles under my belt. I'm a happy camper. It is hot out here in this here north, 99 degrees. Um, 
And then also I have a water source coming up in about two and a half miles. And then no water until my planned camp. I want to camp somewhere around 28 miles. Uh, I could keep hiking and get to like 34 miles, I think. And there's water again. But uh, at this point, that is not something I'm interested in. But you never know. I could just change my mind. So anyway, that just gives you a little insight on how I like the miles and what it does to my psychology. Well, well, what is this? I have such a problem opening these things, but let me see if I can. So, so this is how the trail works. I literally was just thinking about the fact that I didn't get any cliff bars. This is the first cache I'm opening. Let's see what's in the other ones. Pretty cool. The other two caches had uh, Band-Aids, um, Pepto-Bismol, and some um, electrolytes, like uh, liquid IV, I think. It looked like it's the same ones from the guy that gave us some uh, electrolytes at the church. Might be the same guy, because it's like literally the same electrolyte. I didn't take any. I liked it, but I, st I still have a lot. So whoever needs those more than me. But I, I took a cliff bar because I literally just like 30 seconds ago thought, oh man, I didn't really bring any cliff bars or anything like that. Okay, I resisted my laziness. I put pants on just because the, the, the bushwhacking, the overgrown, the blowdowns, it was just too much for my legs. They all scratched up. Uh, I don't want to scratch them up anymore. Um, now I'm going to look at far out about, there's some notes about extreme bushwhacking. I also, this is the only water source for the next 10 to 13 miles. So um, I need to like look more in detail what's going on there. I would love to take a really nice video of Mount Shasta for you. However, I believe Mount Shasta is drowned out by the fog or smoke probably from the Mount Etna fire. Because there's a fire near Mount Etna and Mount Etna is not that far from here. So can't see Shasta right now. Though I think we're really close. Like it would be a really beautiful view from here, but can't see it. Well, speaking of the devil, right there. Look at that. It's pretty, even with the smoke all around it. Boom. I don't think he knows where he should go. Oh, or she. Those deer. It's only semi scared of me. I'm all in my tent. Today was a rough day with regard to, uh, like, well not yeah, some blowdowns for sure, but the overgrowth over the trail was hard. I went also one time the wrong way, like literally bushwhacking then. I ripped my pants because I was in no man's land, no nowhere land, I don't know. Um, I'm, I didn't see any hiker today. I mean, I saw one southbounder, her name was Stitch, but that's it. Oh no, another guy who warned me about a bear, but these also were south, southbounders. I haven't seen any northbounders. Um, I'm not sure where Boss Bay and Birdcall and Bandit are going to camp today. 
I know they sent a text message that they're going to go into Shasta July 10th. Originally, it was July 11th. But um, even I this morning was thinking, hmm, we're probably going to arrive earlier than that. And so I'm definitely going to make it to Shasta July 10th. Um, so it's kind of good to know. So I don't know where they camped yesterday to know if they would make it to here. There's no water here. I don't anticipate... Um, uh, Baspe doesn't really like carrying water long term. She kind of likes to be more closer to water. So um, it's either camping where I got my water like five miles ago, five some miles ago, or to keep uh, going further today, there's a little water source this way that um, I'm pretty close to, but I have enough water. So I'll use that. And then maybe tomorrow morning, I'll go to the water source to get more water if I really need I think I have enough until the actual water source on trail. Um, I stopped like a mile before I wanted to stop, mainly because the trail is so overgrown and um, a lot of people left comments in Far Out about this mile right here next to me um, that it's a little bit insane. And so my feet were hurting. I was tired, grumpy, hungry. I kind of like thought to myself, I probably shouldn't do this last overgrown mile to the next campsite. So I chose this right here. Um, as you know, Bushy, 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 Bushy is now hiking kind of like his own hike hike for the sake of finishing it within the next two weeks. As in like, you know, he's like, he is not through hiking this year. He will be finishing the entire trail, but this year he has to stop early because he has to go back to work. Um, so he's just gonna enjoy his hike a little bit more than trying to push like 30 miles. So I'm gonna cook my food now. I'm very hungry. And tomorrow shall probably be another 25 30 mile days so that way I can get into Shasta with 15 to 20 miles. I know it sounds like that's still a lot of mileage, but 15 miles would be a nice mileage to get into Shasta. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. 